Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on trading view with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about Euro USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market, then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're shifting their orders. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that at the moment we have a market which is testing a quite strong level of historical monthly support and demand. From here, in fact, all these previous rejections to the upside have been created. So every single time the market tested this zone and rejected it to the upside very aggressively. And at the moment, the market is testing the exact same zone, has already started rejecting it to the upside. So in a situation like this, there is definitely the possibility of seeing more potential bullish price action being created away from this zone and for this market to continue higher. We can also notice that from a pattern standpoint, we have a clear impulse followed by a correction. And in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And if we do that, we can notice how the market in between these two levels, so 0 0.618 and 0 0.786 Fibonacci retracements has tested and started to reject it to the upside. Now, why is that? Because these two levels were in perfect confluence with that previous zone that we have just identified. They are both precisely inside of the historical support and demand that we have just identified. So that creates confluence of support because we have the Fibonacci levels and that horizontal support lining up in the same area of price. That creates confluence of support. And when you have confluence of support, you have an increased probability of getting a potential rejection to the upside away from a level because in that zone you have an increased probability of getting institutional longing which is something that we will be speaking about later on in just a few minutes for now let's keep this in mind and move back down on the weekly time frame now from a weekly perspective first of all we had the creation of this M pattern. I spoke about EURUSD when we had this M pattern, when the market was here, and I explained all the reasons for which we could expect this rejection to the upside, which is in fact exactly what the market did. And by the way, I will link in the description that previous analysis, so you can go and check it out for more free education. However, at the moment, as the market is rejecting to the upside, it is facing resistance because the neckline of an M pattern, when you have an M pattern, the neckline by definition, is the previous support turn resistance. So until the market will then remain below this resistance, it cannot continue higher. So only if we get a break above, only at that point there is the possibility of seeing more bullish continuation. So in a situation like this, it is important to wait for a potential breach of this resistance and only at that point more bullish price action could be expected. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we have? Well, from a daily perspective, the situation is quite clear. We have a market which has created a massive impulse to the upside. Now it is starting a minor correction. Therefore, it is currently showing where the structure that needs to be broken to the upside currently is, which is exactly this level here. And actually, this level is already, it was already a quite important zone for this market. In fact, exactly from here, where this wick was created, all the massive move to the downside started. So this level was a quite strong supply and resistance zone, which is currently still acting as supply and resistance. And in fact, the market has already started rejecting it to the downside. And only a break above the zone would make that previous resistance become support because in the market, previous resistance, once it is broken to the upside, becomes support. So if we get this break and retest in a situation like this, what will I expect? Well, 
Before we dig deeper into what we have from a technical perspective, first, let's go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing. Now, even though we have all that support uh, on the technical side of the market, from a fundamental perspective, if we look at the order flow here, we can see how institutions so far have not been increasing their net positions. They actually have decreased their net positions. However, there is one important thing which starts to show a potential shift from a bearish positioning back to a bullish positioning on EURUSD from an institutional perspective. Now, first of all, note that I said EURUSD, even though we're just looking at the euro, because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. So if you're looking at the data for the euro, you're actually already looking at euro USD. And what we can see here is that with the last report, even though net positions are decreased, shorts are now starting to get closed. Now, if institutions expect euro USD to get weaker, they would be adding shorts, not starting to close them. And we can see, in fact, here 1.9k shorts getting closed. So there is a possibility that this is the start of a shift from bearish to bullish from an institutional perspective, even though we don't see any longing yet. That is still not the case. So that makes us be quite cautious from a technical perspective, because even though everything could shift to bullish quite soon from a technical perspective, we would also have to see some a bullish positioning from an institutional perspective in order to have higher probabilities. So it, let's keep that in mind and move back to the chart. And by the way, if you still haven't, make sure to join my free Telegram channel, which you find both on the screen and also linked in the description, so you never miss new updates. Now back to analysis. Well, from a daily perspective here, if the market will break above this zone, this previous resistance would become support. And if we get the break on the retest of this previous resistance turned support, in a situation like this, what would I expect? Well, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes. So, for our and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential rejection to the upside, completing this daily impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. That definitely wouldn't surprise me. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked in the description. From here, in fact, you will have the possibility to gain access to my entire courses. You will also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one live private mentoring directly with me, the VIP market breakdowns with the Telegram signals, the CO2 data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this video, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you continue to scroll down the website past the testimonials, you will see that you have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with email and password that you will create during the sign up process. So I really suggest that you go and check it out as soon as possible. The link is in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below for any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in my next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.